Hey, what's up, YouTube? Down the smartphone guy coming back at you with another video. And today we're going to take a look at this 4K action camera from a company called Extreme. And uh, this is the camera itself. And you can see the nice little uh, waterproof case that it comes in, also shock proof. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pop it out of there. So you just slip that up and fold it over and this is the actual camera itself so here it is and uh, at the end of the video i'm going to go ahead and show you guys what uh, the camera looks like but uh, in the meantime we're just going to go ahead and uh, turn it on let it power up and set it off to the side so this is the case that it comes with so real nice carrying case to carry all the accessories that it comes with it comes with a ton of accessories um, all similar to what you would get with like a GoPro. Um, so it comes with uh, this little bike clip there, which can also be used for multiple other things. It comes with helmet clips. Um, it also comes with this 2.4 gigahertz uh, remote control, which is really nice. So you can use this as a shutter. Um, so you can see you would probably use these Velcro straps here and you would Velcro it to whatever it is that you wanna um, be able to use as your shutter. Now you can also use a cell phone to control the camera as well. Um, so that uses uh, Wi-Fi because there's built-in Wi-Fi into the camera. Um, but if you don't want to use that, then you can use this as well. Or you can actually use the camera itself. So that's a really nice option as well. It does also come with, oh, that's the battery for, uh, for this guy. Um, but this is what I was looking for. And this is the extra battery. So it comes with two uh, 1050 milliamp hour batteries. They're good for about an hour and a half each, um, which is pretty good. Um, which is, and it's actually pretty standard for this kind of camera. So um, you can see that it does have Wi-Fi. Like I mentioned, that's going to be used to connect it to your phone. Um, so over here, we just have an up and down button. Um, and that's for navigating through the system as you're in the actual camera. We have a micro USB for uh, charging it. This is the micro HDMI out and then a spot for your micro SD card. Um, so that is the camera. I'll go ahead and turn it on now. Now it is going to say that I don't have an SD card in there, but um, you can see that right now I have it set at 1080p at 60 frames per second. Um, and I will go ahead and hit the mode button, which is the front button right here. And that'll cycle us into uh, the picture taking. And so now we're at 16 megapixels uh, is what it's currently set at. And then this is our slow motion mode. So you can see at slow motion and shooting at 720p at 120 frames per second. Now all three of these modes so far, I'm going to go ahead and show you um, some videos of what that looks like and also some underwater footage as well. Um, so then again, this is where your pictures would show up. But at the moment, I took the SD card out so that I could actually upload some video to this um, to this video. And uh, then this is our actual uh, settings. So we can go in here and hit OK. And now we can uh, change any kind of the settings. So again, we're going to navigate with these up and down buttons now. So we can hit the OK button to go into video resolution. We can change that video resolution. So it does shoot in 4K at 30 frames per second at 2.7K 30 frames per second. And you can see the various options there. So go ahead and get out of there by hitting the mode button. And then you can choose to have sound recording on or off. We can change our time lapse. Um, so you either have to shoot in the regular mode or in time lapse. You can't shoot it both at the same time, uh, which makes sense, obviously. And then we have we can change our slow motion. So that can be either at 1080p at 60 frames per second or in 720p at 120 frames per second. And then we can also do loop recording as well. So now uh, we'll go into our actual still pictures here and uh, we can change the photo resolution. Uh, we can time our shots, do some auto shots and drama shots. One more and now we'll go into image rotation. So that's really nice option actually because uh, maybe you have it set into like a gimbal or something like that. And if you wanna be able to shoot upside down, um, because I actually use that quite often, uh, believe it or not, but it basically just flips the image for you, um, which is a really nice option. And then we have a driving mode, and then you can turn the Wi-Fi on or off right over here. Um, and that's, again, to connect it to your phone. Go ahead and hit mode again, and then we can just change our date, format the SD card, and reset it there as well. So that's pretty much it in terms of the actual camera. Now, again, all of this can be controlled actually directly from your cell phone. I'm not going to show you that because I just wanted to show you what it looks like on here. A little easier to do it, obviously, on your cell phone, but those are the options you have. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and show you some footage of what this looks like. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace. Right in the